Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to open a pallet of Olympic plates from Bells of Steel. Today's opening instrument will be an Eck Commando from the mid 80s. I've had this knife for about 30 years. Is it super useful? No, but I do like to use it to cut steak and to open boxes. Life is long, have fun, get stuff that makes you happy. So I have been a trainer professionally for 15 years, nearly 20 years now. Oh my God, it's 19 years. Uh, it's 19 years. I've been a trainer. And kettlebells are what I teach the most because it's actually the thing that's the easiest to teach the most places in the world. I traveled and trained on movies and you would travel around the world. And dragging this around is really hard. Absolutely everywhere. But dragging kettlebells around is easy. But if you do have a gym, then having a, a barbell set up is really fun. Oh, sweet. We ordered these super sexy, I think these are the low bounce plates or no bounce plates. We'll find out. Absolutely beautiful plates. I really like this plate tree that I just got in the warehouse as well. It actually, it's on wheels, omnidirectional wheels, so you can move it around everywhere. Behind our plate tree here is actually a ratchet. So that's for stunt training for movies. A ratchet is what you use to flip cars so you know that they end up in the right spot. It's also what you use to rip actors off the ground when you do superhero, people get hit by superheroes and they fly. In war movies, when explosions happen in, in bodies fly through the air. That's what that's for. So all of our stuff in this warehouse has to be on wheels and move around so that we can get out of the way of stunt pulls. That's probably not what everybody needs. In fact, I'm pretty sure nobody else needs that. But it is something that we have to consider with all the gear that we have. Ooh, man, that's a sexy plate. <sighs> Smell great. I don't do a lot of conventional barbell training, but I do do landmine when it is available. Kettlebells travel everywhere, clubs travel even better than that. But landmine is fun. Landmine is barbell going back to rotation and going back to a lot of pure jumping patterns. And it has forward pressure in it. And you do not really have forward pressure in kettlebells or in heavy club swinging. You have stepping patterns, but you don't have pure athletic forward pressure. Barbell, specifically landmine, meets a need that's not met by any other type of training. Bells of Steel makes really nice barbells. The Bells of Steel barbells have traction on the actual barbell sleeve. And this allows you to get a little bit more purchase on it when you're doing something like landmine. I'm sure maybe other companies have that. I just don't know which other companies have that. None of my old barbells have it. None of the barbells at my CrossFit gym have it. So it's, I think it's unique to Bells of Steel. I could be totally wrong about that, but that's why I like a lot of Bells of Steel stuff is because there's always one little thing that's really thoughtful in the design. You can get something comparable someplace else, but I find that the Bells of Steel stuff has little things that I didn't know I needed or didn't know I wanted even. So I'm gonna try to get all these weights on this tree. I've got four barbells right here. I have about 15 in the warehouse. There are four on our Bells of Steel squat rack over there. And we have a bunch more, another maybe six floating around that are dedicated just for landmine training. Kettlebells are the easiest and cheapest thing that will get you the most training benefit for the least amount of money and time. There's absolutely no question about that. Clubs do the movement patterns that make you truly human, but life is really long and if you have a place to put things, then expand your training gear because more stuff and more education allows you to keep training for long periods of time. I trained with just a kettlebell for 10 years, just a kettlebell. And it was the best thing I ever did. It got me everything training ever offered me, but never delivered on. Kettlebell club are your most important things. After that, you get into things like landmine, sandbag lifting, 
different types of sport specific training. And you should keep training forever. Five days a week, one hour a day for the rest of your life. And now figure out how many more years you have in life and then find a bunch of stuff to learn. You are never, ever, ever, ever done training.